असलम मैं ब्यूटीफुल सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड लवली व्यूवर्स इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एड्रेस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच मेनी ऑफ यंग एडल्ट एंड टीन एजर्स हैव इन देयर माइंड्स दैट इज इज विजन बोर्ड हलाल और हराम इन इस्लाम सो लेट स्टार्ट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्चुअली वॉट अ विजन बोर्ड इज सो विजन बोर्ड इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ पिक्चर्स कोड्स अफर्मेशन दैट इंस्पायर्स यू it is like an inspirational board it's like drawing your dreams goals or having pictures of things you want in your life it may have picture of your dream house travel destination your dream job etc now let's understand how it works it starts with collecting pictures of your desires goals dreams etc sticking it somewhere so that you can see it regularly and then taking a small steps consistently towards achieving your goal now using visualization is a powerful psychological tool used by almost every other successful person right when you see this images regularly it motivates your mind to take steps in that direction it's more like a psychological thing when you see something on regular basis you feel to have it your mind consciously or unconsciously uh, sends you a signal to do certain things so that you can achieve that thing okay that goal let's understand it by an example okay when you see an advertisement regularly you feel that you should try that particular product right or when you go out for shopping that advertisement that you have seen is actually stuck in your mind and you end up buying that product right now when we talk about vision board in the lights of islam there are certain things that you should keep in your mind so that even if you have a vision board you don't end up committing a sin vision board actually is halal in islam but with certain rulings and guidings that you should keep in my, keep in your mind right as a muslim okay so as a muslim we don't we as a muslim we believe and recognize that there is no you know mighty no power except almighty allah we believe that only our creator answers our dua right and only he can make things possible so when you make a vision board you must not believe that it's a universe who which is helping you to get certain things or which is helping you to turn your dreams into reality no okay so you know many people who are having a vision board or who like to have vision board i'm talking about muslims of course if they like to have a vision board they end up committing a sin which is called a uh, shirk okay uh, because they think that uh, it's a universe which is helping them to make things make their dreams into reality but no it's actually our lord almighty right so even i have a separate video on that if you want i will link it and you can refer to that video so okay so the first thing that should be clear in your mind is that uh, that it's your uh, it's your almighty that is you know turning your dreams into reality and of course uh, it's your hard work okay it's your hard work and it's the will of almighty allah that your dreams are turning into reality okay so you must have clear understanding that a visual representation the vision board you are having is actually a visual representation of your duas which will be answered by almighty second you must not have any sort of human figures okay humanly figure or living beings into your vision board okay for example if you like to have a pet some day okay if you like to have a cat and some day some day in future right so don't stick the picture of cat in your vision board okay because it's not allowed you can uh, just write or mention a uh, word cat in your vision board but you cannot have a picture of cat why it is so because as a prophet alayhi salam 
sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam informed us that the angels do not enter a house in which there is a picture. This is evident that it is forbidden to keep pictures of living beings such as birds, animals, humans, etc. Okay, so you should keep in your mind that your vision board does not have any humanly figures, okay, or any sort of animals, birds in it. Okay, now third thing. You cannot draw or picture picture. You cannot draw or pictureize image of paradise, okay? As it is the best of best places Almighty has created, and it's beyond our capacity to you know visualize it. So if you have a goal of entering Jannah, okay? May Almighty Allah grant all of us Jannah, but we cannot visualize it. So we cannot just stick. We cannot just take any pictures and claim that it's a Jannah of our dreams. No. What you have to do, you can just take an affirmation or a word Jannah. If you have a goal of entering into Jannah. So, inshallah, that you will enter into Jannah. But one thing that you should keep in mind, that you should not stick a picture of Jannah. Okay? Fourth thing. So, whenever you see or... You uh, see your vision board. You should make a dua that may Almighty grant me my dream house or may Almighty fulfill my uh, dreams. Okay, and then say yes, I can achieve it. Okay, I have powers now and I can achieve it. But you should first make dua to Almighty. Okay, now fifth thing, guys. Sometimes we don't get things that we want immediately or sometimes we don't even get it. So remember that Almighty see that you are struggling for certain things and he loves you so much and he wants to give you something much more better than what you have than what you have picturized or visualized or what you are asking for. So have patience and have trust in Almighty. Do work for your dreams and yes, vision board is halal in Islam. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.